Welcome beautiful soul, my name is Virginia and this is my yoga channel. I share for freedom, peace of mind, love. So let's practice. Hey beautiful yogis, so today I want to share with you forearm stand variations. This is for somebody that already has their forearm stand and just wants to look to make their postures a little bit more spicy or maybe you're teaching yourself and you want to share some more variations with your students. So my first one for you is funky pinch up. This one is a little bit unbalanced, of course, that's why it's funky. Your entry point is pretty much the same as your ordinary pincher. So shoulders in line with elbows, flare out your fingertips nice and wide, lift up your knees with your toes tucked under, walk your toes in, keep looking forward. But then here is where we change it up. We want to bring that right hand now in alignment with the left elbow. Make sure the fingertips stay facing forwards, but you're wrapping that right elbow in towards the midline and it's bending backwards exactly like you would for a chaturanga. Now here is what's uh, important. It's the right leg that lifts up to kick you into it so that when you come up, your counterbalance is kind of helping you a little bit more. This right leg moving forwards over your head is counteracting this little bit of less balance on that right side. And now I like to keep the left knee bent into the chest for a little now bit. Now really point your toes on that right foot, energizing the right foot towards the top of the mat, that left knee towards your chest. And you're also squeezing your left heel towards your butt. Maybe you're staying here or well, then you're gonna to progress to bringing the legs to straight. My second forearm stand variation for you is eagle legs. But again, the key to this one is counterbalance. Counterbalance is my favorite. I really think that it's underrated. It helps you stay up in the posture. So if you can kind of master a counterbalance, all of your other arm balances are gonna just be so much stronger. All right, so we're bringing the forearms down. We're flaring out the fingertips. We're squeezing the banda as well. We've got that pelvic floor switched up. Walking the toes in, lifting one leg. Kicking up, left knee can stay bent to your chest. Now here, this is where you can just thread that left thigh in front of the right. Good, and then maybe that double wrap. And here we're looking with eagle legs to bring that head through. And this counterbalance or the eagle legs actually helps you with that stability. Uh, the tailbone is squeezing towards the top of the mat as you bring your head through. So another one that's pretty fun is hopping into forearm stand. And when one of my favorite teachers shared this with me. I was like, what? You can't, you can't do that. You can. All right. So again, entry point is the same. Shoulders and elbows in alignment, flare out your fingertips, tuck your toes, lift your knees. Walk your toes in, look forward, and it's just little bunny hops. One, two, can you maybe make it? Three, four, and five. Of course, be careful. If you feel a little bit of, of fear with this one, quite normal, then put some cushions in front of you uh, or to the sides of you. It's going to help you to uh, feel the fear and do it anyway, right? Okay, well done. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I hope it helped you. Namaste.